Hello Edmonton, I'm so fired up to be here. How do we scale innovation? How do we take that experience of that tech-savvy patient and scale it so that everyone in Canada gets to benefit from it? I mean, if we are bold enough and willing to adopt exponential technologies, the sky is truly the limit. I'm going to start with a story that happened at the medical clinic that I was working at last week. I was asked to see Jennifer, a middle-aged woman. There was a point where we cried together. And that's because we discussed that she had stage 4 breast cancer and she only has months or a year to live. I lost my aunt when I was 12 years old to breast cancer and that was the first time I came face to face with disease and also it opened my mind to the opportunity to become a doctor and really um, be there for people in their sickness. The good news is, is that the future of healthcare is going to be different. People are going to live their lives to their full health potential and it's going to be exponential technology that's going to give us new ways to monitor health and detect and treat disease that's going to help get us there. Anything that becomes information enabled, and by that I mean digitized, jumps on that exponential curve of growth. So that includes technologies like 3D printing, AI, robotics, the list goes on. And you might be sitting here and saying, well, you know, my, my hospital still uses fax machines. It doesn't apply to me. Well, you could not be more wrong because exponential technologies can leapfrog entire generations of technology. We could go from fax machines to medical records that are stored on the cloud, transfer via 5G wireless network and accessible anywhere, anytime, on any device. So let me ask you, is it equitable to do a second CT scan when someone comes into emergency because our EMR system doesn't, doesn't chat with the hospital that's on the other side of the city? Is it equitable to potentially have a drug reaction because, again, we don't have access to that patient's past medical information? And so that's why I do think equity is, is kind of built into many of these exponential technologies. The real-time heart rate generated from an Apple Watch of on 14,000 individuals, they had been able to predict with an 85% accuracy who had diabetes. And my response when I read that was wow, 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 and wow. One day you may be surprised to get a text message from your toilet saying that it has detected some blood in your stool or a biomarker which is indicative of colon cancer so it's time to book your next colonoscopy. We now are in an era where Apple, a trillion dollar for-profit company, may very, well that you may very well know that you have diabetes before you know it, uh, or your physician. So are you guys ready for a drop the mic moment? <laughs>